the uh, I have all of my electrical connections and my power supplies on the OTA near the OTA you can see that I made a plate here and attached to that is a power strip so therefore I only have two cords going through the back of my scope one is the USB cord and the other one is a power line therefore I get no twisting of the cables and they're just two very small cables this of course is a lost mandy dovetail that's you can buy for the 14 inch it comes with curved brackets although they're not curved exactly the right way they work just fine and then I have one slidable dovetail clamp here see it's a lost mandy and that allows this to slide back and forth there's a bolt hole in the top which I can loosen this and slide this whole weight forward and aft these weights will slide in and out they're four pound weights and if you notice if you look at this closely you could see that well I made this shaft a little shorter you didn't have to you could if you have clearance you could leave that shaft longer right there that shaft but because when when the observatory roof is closed if this stuck out any further it wouldn't make it so I just chopped that one off all the weight is on this side you can see the dew controller etc uh, power supplies OEM power supplies for the various pieces of equipment and this is a remote control for the feather touch focuser which I have here on the primary mirror I hardly ever 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 move the primary mirror but probably if I use my um, uh, what the heck is it the um, the wide field thing okay anyway it'll come to me getting old I might have to adjust the primary mirror but normally I leave the primary mirror in its center position so that the uh, Optech Gemini here is in will work from its mid position so therefore if all the weights are on the other side I should say the power supplies there's my USB controller in there if you could see it uh, what happens is you'll need this weight sticking out further to counterbalance all the weight that's on the other side of the OTA so that's why I put those in there this cable is the old cable for when I use the uh, the Lodestar but right now I'm using uh, the sky so I only have to use one USB connector on there okay so what was I trying to think of the hyperstar okay mind isn't working you notice I don't have the hyperstar on but I have the capability of putting a hyperstar on there so in that case I would have to adjust the primary mirror with this and that's what the Star Arizona Feather Touch Remote Controller does. So I can use that, but of course when I'm using the Gemini here, Optech Gemini, this focuser doesn't move. The lock screws will be locked now in this when I'm only using this focuser. If I'm not using the Gemini, then I unscrew the lock screws and I allow the mirror to be adjusted with the Feather Touch focuser. Things are kind of dusty here. Okay, so I'll prick up the let's see here let me just double hit this you can see how close it comes that's why I had to I mean I normally don't do this with the uh, uh, with the roof closed but there are times when I want to run the telescope through its mo motions you know and in that case I have to make sure I don't hit and you can see how close it is I was just lucky enough where the uh, trusses worked out so anyway it's going to its home position pointing west of course which is totally stupid I do not know why software bisque ever did that it should have homed in the east because normal people always start imaging in the east so I don't know where their brains were on that one it's almost done homing more beeps there we go it's homed okay so if I move the telescope to the other side 
I'll use the manual control it's gonna have to go let me see if I can get this thing I'm using one hand here okay I'm trying to get the scope now I'm gonna put it all the way on the east side of the meridian and I'm gonna be very careful to watch those weights but usually they will not usually they normally don't hit but it's very close so once that clears I'll be okay but if not I'll have to let go here I don't want I don't want to run that in okay so I'm good so I'm gonna be going to the east like I would normally start imaging after I've homed the telescope and let's say I'm imaging in the east there all right we'll go back a little bit okay so now you'll see what I'm talking about Clarence I'm gonna home the scope and it'll automatically go back to the home position. The weights will clear because I've homed it before and I know that uh, when it's homing it goes through a certain uh, it does azimuth first and then right ascension second. Our altitude It's doing something weird here. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I'll stop that. For some reason, I must not have hit the button right. It homed all the way in one axis. It shouldn't do that. It should run them both at the same time. So, I don't know. I haven't run this thing in about a year. See what happens here. Got kind of goofy on me. Now I really will have to watch the weights because I don't, it's not going through its normal routine here. I really need to run this thing on automatic uh, to get the gears good, good and greasy. The sky has a, um, you know, button you could push that sets it so it automatically homes. And I, you can also make it go through its motions completely from one axis to the other. I think it's already homed in, in uh, one axis already. Here. It's coming to the home position now, so we'll get two beeps and two beeps. There's the first two. Waiting for the second two. Yeah, I think I've got a problem here. Oh, although it's probably already homed in that axis, so not a problem. What I'm going to do is move it off both axes, and then I'm going to... Now yeah, let's go this other way. And then I'm going to home it and see if I get my double beeps. All right. There we go. First set. Second set. Okay. Yeah, I think I had it homed in the other axis and that made it act goofy. So what I'll do is I'll bring it all the way around to the other side again. I'm going to hold this. It wasn't even recording. 